hello welcome back to fstl inspired if this is your first time here you're welcome here it's all about food fashion and craft lifestyle and travel so if you love content like this kindly subscribe today i'll be showing you how to make thai basic fried rice the first time i had it was at a restaurant and i decided to try it and it came out really good i'm sure you love it so watch me as i make mine so here i'm using basmati rice you can use whatever rice uh, type you prefer either the jasmine rice or the normal rice so I've um, washed my rice I put in some oil and I'm cooking in my instant pot and I'm just going to go with the settings for rice to cook my rice and so here my rice is done I'm just using the air and as you can see the rice is all done and cooked I let this to chill for a bit before transferring to a bowl with which I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to let this sit for a while to, to take out the heat before transferring to the refrigerator. So while that is happening, these are my vegetables. I have green beans, I have some spring onions, I have my basil and I have cilantro. I also have some garlic and onions, chicken, some shrimps. Um, this is also important. I have these Thai peppers, uh, sweet pepper and green pepper. Then to my sauce, I have fish sauce, soy sauce and the oyster sauce. So now I'm going to transfer my rice to the refrigerator and allow it to chew for about 2-3 to three hours. Or you can just leave it in the, in the freezer instead if you have lesser time. These are my shrimps and I'm just adding some seasonings to them. The list of all the seasonings are in the description box. So my chicken as well, seasoning accordingly. And you can use any other seasoning of your choice. Whatever gives you the taste, kind of taste that you prefer. So add all my seasoning and I'm going to mix all together to come back to it later. To make my sauce, I've added oyster sauce, soy sauce and fish sauce. You can find the list of all these items in the description box. So I'm going to mix all of that together and for my vegetables, I'll go ahead to cut them. Cut my spring onions, my green beans, just get all of them ready. So I paused my green bell pepper, Thai pepper and sweet pepper in my food processor here. Here are my cilantro leaves and I'm cutting them up as well. But for the basil, I'm not going to cut them. Down. Here I drizzle a little amount of oil in the pan to saute my shrimps and I'll do the same process for my chicken. Here I'm adding more oil to start my cooking and I'll go in with the garlic and onions. Fry them for some minutes before adding my pepper mix. This is my Thai pepper combination with sweet pepper and green bell pepper. So be careful not to add too much of it because Thai peppers are really spicy. Now I've added my spring onions and I'm also going to fry for some more minutes before going in with the basil. For, for the basil, I didn't cut them up. I wanted the basil leaves to be noticeable in my end product so I didn't cut them up. You can cut them up if you prefer. And here I've added my sauce and I'm going to mix all together. While this is cooking on low heat, in another pan, I'll add some oil and fry up some eggs. The fried eggs will be added to my rice. You can skip this part if you don't want. It's totally optional. 
so i'll go in with my rice in beets stir fry them bit by bit So check for taste and if you want more color you can add more soy sauce but be careful to avoid even salting. So check for taste and adjust the sauce as you prefer. Probably add more oyster sauce. So now I added the shrimps and the eggs and I'm going to mix all together. I'm going to add the chicken. So mix all together and my rice is ready this is my final product I also decided to garnish with some cilantro at this point you can decide to garnish after serving it's up to you so this is my final product guys and I tell you it was really really very delicious so I hope you try this out guys and please leave your comments down below if you tried it and if you loved it I totally loved it and I'll be making this over and over again so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one and please don't go away without hitting the subscribe button bye